Alrighty YouTube, how are you guys doing today? This is going to be the final installment on the MacBook Air series. Thank God, some of you are going to be saying. But I've been using this machine for the past 6 to 7 days as a primary machine, as my main iMac or my main workhorse is away to Apple to get repaired. And I was left with this new MacBook Air which I got from my dad and I had a MacBook Pro for myself. And I thought, okay, I'm going to use the MacBook Air as a main machine to see how well it stacks up. Can it be used as a main machine? Can it replace the iMac? Can it replace the MacBook Pro? Can it replace a Mac Mini? Uh, and I'm going to answer those questions in this video for sure. Now, if you haven't seen the previous videos that I've done on the MacBook Air series, I thoroughly recommend you watch them before you watch this video. And the reason for that is because I've probably already answered your question on those videos. I've done gaming tests, I've done speed tests with the MacBook Pro, I've done Photoshop tests. And to see the more in-depth of those Click on those screen and on those links and you can go to that respective video before you watch the remainder of this video. Now, before I go into the good things and the bad things about the MacBook Air, the system or the spec that I've got is a standard, it's a 13.3 inch, 2 gigs of RAM, 128 GB flash, NVIDIA 320M, so nothing was customised, nothing was upgraded. As it was from my dad, I thought, okay, I'll just get it as it is. Uh, and I guess that's one of the reasons why it came so friggin' fast. If you customise it, it will take a little bit longer because it comes directly from the factory in China. Whereas if you get one of the standard builds, it's probably already in store or in their European warehouses. The good things about the MacBook here, super, super light. I mean, I'm using this in positions or places, positions. I'm using the, you know this in places where I normally wouldn't with my MacBook Pro on the couch, on the bed. Kind of sounds dodgy, I guess. But, you know, I'm using, I'm, t I'm carrying it out more than I am with the MacBook Pro. Um, I'm on the couch watching TV, open it up, instant on. Uh, and as you can see from the screen there, I, I literally had done speed tests. Zippy, super, super fast. Um, and you don't, you, don't, you don't want to be getting a MacBook Air and putting a hard shell case on it. At the moment, I've got a hard shell case on my MacBook Pro. But even without that case, it's friggin' heavy, the MacBook Pro. So you don't want to be getting a MacBook Air and covering this up so much that it's going to be become heavy because you might as well just go and get a MacBook or a MacBook Pro. There's no point of getting a MacBook Air if you're going to customise it so much that you're going to make it even heavier than a MacBook Pro or the same weight as the MacBook. You know, it's 1.32 kilograms, uh, and if you haven't already guessed, that is super, super thin. If you go for the 11.6 inch screen, that's even thinner or even lighter, shall I say. Now it's instant on, gaming is super super fast, super smooth, really surprised. I had COD 4 Langer in and I thought, you know what, I'll give it a try and it worked really nice. Again, I've done a video on it but I'm not going to show you that in here. You can go to that video and watch it. I tried StarCraft 2 as well, that performed really well. The battery life on this thing is truly, truly superb. Um, you know, Apple kind of, they always exceed uh, when it comes to battery life. I haven't tried the 30 day standby, but I, you know, from because it's not been 30 days since I've had the machine, it's only been 67 days. But Apple say you get seven hours of battery life and I've had little over seven hours. So I have no doubt that that standby time of 30 days is incorrect. Uh, and a lot of other reviewers, a lot of other tech blogs have said the same, the battery life is better than Apple state, which is always good. I guess it depends on the applications you run hint hint flash if you run uh, intensive applications and it might eat up the or drain the battery a bit more the screen resolution on this thing is beautiful it's the 1440 by 900 and it beats the macbook pro uh, any day of the week or my macbook pro anyway i've just got the standard screen on it yes you can probably or you can upgrade the macbook pro so it's got a better screen on it uh, but you do have to fork a bit more for it so whether that's worthwhile doing that is you know up to you but I like how MacBook Air, it's the one package that's got everything in it. Uh, and, you know, it is just superb. And here's one of my favourite music videos. I'm playing in HD 1080p on both devices. And I'm not too sure if it's coming out clearly, but when I was recording this video, or I know when I'm watching the two screens, the MacBook Air performs or displays a more crisper, a more vibrant um, image. Uh, and that's what I like about it. The flash drive on these are start from 64 gigs from the 11.6 inch screen all the way up to 256 uh, gigs the good thing is you can upgrade that so they, they aren't available yet for upgrades but companies like crucial companies like photofast have announced them so in the next few weeks we we will hear and it's a small chip similar to a ram and you open it up and you can shove it in so if you don't if you think 64 is not going to last enough if you think 128 is not going to last enough you can always buy this and shove it in so that's upgradable that's kind of good and 
because you know this kind of memory is going to be expensive come the release date of these upgradable flash drives they are probably going to be a bit pricey but my recommendation is if go for the lowest one or go for at least 128 and then grab yourself an external drive it's, they're so cheap nowadays anyway you can pick up a one terabyte for um, just under 50 pound which is kind of a steal usb2 it's fine store all your films your movies pictures your whatever it is that you want on external drives which you should be doing in any case all the good things aside uh, the main bad thing or the only bad thing that I think about is the backlit keyboard. I am a touch typist and you know I hardly look at this, the keyboard anyway but when I do I want you know I'm so spoiled by the backlit keyboard in the MacBook Pro because it m wants me to look at the keyboard even more and as you can see here um, you know it's just one of those features that when it goes away you think oh my god the tiniest of things makes a difference but here's the thing I don't get the MacBook Air is targeted towards travellers, uh, targeted to those who are, you know, always on the go, always on the move. So why on earth did Apple decide to move this? Because they had it on the previous uh, uh, generation of the MacBooks Airs. So why not have it on this? It doesn't make any sense. If you're travelling, you're taking night flights, you're taking night journeys, uh, you want to, you know, you're typing a document, you don't want to switch the light on above you because the guy next to you is going to punch you in the face if you do so. Um, you know, you're sitting there, you want to type something, uh, when you look down you can't see the keys or it's really hard to make out and you've just come back from a really uh, intense meeting uh, and these tiny things um, do make a difference believe it or not trust me they do and I don't know why they didn't that is the only kick in the balls um, to put it nicely that I think why on earth did Apple do this the other thing is you can't upgrade the RAM so if you are going to be thinking of future proofing or thinking about getting a RAM two years down the line that ain't going to happen but come line, we'll find out how or if there is a change of um, spec. Uh, you know, will, re will line require at least 8 gigs of RAM? I highly doubt that's going to be the case. But it could be the case and I'm thinking it's going to require at least 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, or perhaps not. So let's wait till summer and see if the next version of the operating system from Apple, which is codenamed line, how much RAM that will need what the applications coming in the next few months will that require more ram but i think four gigs if you're going to be doing a lot of intense work go for four gigs but as you can see the test that i've done uh, with photoshop the test that i've done with the gaming two gigs was fine that was more than enough so only go for four gigs if you think you're going to be doing a lot of things and you're going to be keeping the machine for at least you know three years or the duration of uh, your apple care no Ethernet and no Firewire. In terms of Ethernet, you can get a USB dongle and hook your Ethernet cable that way so it's not too much of a biggie. Now that you have two USB ports, well, hey, um, that is kind of makes up for it. No Firewire. Um, I've got an iMac 27 inch, I've got a MacBook Pro and I've never used Firewire. So how important Firewire is to you if you transfer a lot of stuff uh, if you're in making high high end movies and constantly backing up and so on, that could be a downside to you. So um, be aware of that. No optical drive. I could not give a donkey's uh, if it doesn't have an optical drive. In fact, I'll pay Steve Jobs to remove my optical drive from my iMac and MacBook Pro and put something or shove something more useful in that. Um, but guys, um, that's it about for this video. And just to finish off. I am indeed selling my MacBook Pro and getting the new MacBook Air for myself. Going to get the 4 gigs of RAM, so that order is going to get placed pretty soon. Thoroughly impressed. Did you go out and get a MacBook Air? Which one did you get? What you, what are your thoughts on it? Leave a comment below. And remember, you can join me on iGlassWegion.com, Twitter.com slash i6GlassWegion. Join my Facebook fan page, Facebook.com slash iGlassWegion. If you have any questions, guys, leave them down below. And guys, thanks for watching. Cheers. Before you go guys, do remember to visit these other videos that I've done in the MacBook Air. Click on these, speed test, gaming test, what you waiting for, eh? Click on these videos, cheers guys.